the changing skyline in Music City being built by those on the inside. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with some inmates who are laying the foundation to freedom. It's been a challenge. It's something that uh, you don't want to experience. It's heartbreaking. It's prison. They've been many nights I've laid in my cell and cried because I'd like to be home. My children miss me. The view from the wrong side of a barbed wire fence is what Donnie Brock and Nicholas Rucker see while serving time at the D. Barry Max prison. With less than a year left, sentenced on felony charges, these inmates say they have hope beyond these walls. It just makes you feel good at the end of the day or to go back and see a project that you completed knowing that you know, your efforts along with your crew um, made that happen. The Department of Correction and the Department of Transportation offering inmates full-time construction work outside the prison, and they're getting paid. They went from making 17 cents an hour to up to $16, 16 to $20 an hour. Coordinator yeah, Calvin Burden believes the two-year-old program has turned prisoners into people. I don't judge the man by his crime. I judge the man by his character, not why they end the program and how they change their step. The men must go through rigorous vetting, interviews, classroom work, internships, and maintain a clean disciplinary record for at least a year before they can start work. For Brock, it's an opportunity to feel like a human again. Like my boss, he, he tells me all the time, he said, I don't see you as an inmate. I don't, I don't even recognize you as being in prison. And when inmates taste freedom, they take with them a full-time job, savings, benefits, and the skills to start over. But to be able to be accepted still gives you a good show of faith. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.